Welcome back to Metroid Fusion. Where have I been these past couple days? Just data floating in the air. Maybe every time she saves, like, time passes and the extra just... Oh, okay, we'll just keep infecting everything. Actually, what if Metroid Fusion did that? I know it would be complicated as hell on the archaic Game Boy Advance, but just imagine if all of a sudden things got worse the more you saved. Hmm. Like, imagine it, man. That'd be a bit too complicated for what, uh, you know, Nintendo's trying to do with the Game Boy Advance. That uh, might yeah. be might be a bit too uh, cerebral. It sounds so cool, though. Hey, get on that. You get, two, you get two power bombs here. Jesus. Next Metroid game, I don't care. Have it to where every time you save and quit, something changes. Although, that would be extremely difficult to figure out with the coding of the game itself. Like, what di dictates what happens. So, I had a thought. Yeah. Samus. Uh-huh. Power suit. Very. Where's it a lot, right? Yeah. You've seen her without her suit. Has two hands, right? Two hands, yes. Two hands that work. Like a human. Right. Yeah. In the power suit, though. Yeah. Has a gun hand. Correct. Does it turn into a regular hand? Or is it always just a gun? As far as I know, it's always a gun. But can it turn into a hand? Like Mega Man or something like that? Yeah, I'm thinking it's like, you know, you know, like if there's like a flash and it turns into a regular hand so if you can like pick stuff up. Or maybe the hand comes out of the blaster and the blaster just like goes back like a cufflink or something like that, like a sleeve. If you look at Metroid Prime and the different beams that she can use. Oh, her, yeah, it's her see, hand. See, it's, it's her hand. And if you look at the x-ray, she's like, you know, pulling something yeah, in yeah. there to actually fire the beam. I always like that detail. So there, so, there is a hand. Yeah. So does the suit turn into a hand sometimes? Maybe that's only when she's, you know, not in combat, but if you're playing a Metroid game, that bitch is always in combat! <laughs> no time to stand around, shoot the breeze, you know, grab a coffee. So we got Plasma Beam back, and, oh, you didn't really expect that. This is where the game is starting to let go of its linearity, and now starting to open up a bit more. Hey, uh, AI. Why did you not see this coming, and why are you distraught by it? What are you planning? That's a lot of ellipses. Oh, great. <laughs> we were uh, just there. Oh, we have no. no more data rooms now! They're all gone! Well... What are we gonna do now? Time to f go fill in map squares. I think the X do not want us getting stronger. They see that we're getting our abilities back, they see that we're fighting back, they see that we're not being killed as easily as everything else in the goddamn universe. So, they're using everything they can to make sure that I don't succeed! W what could be stronger? A, a millions, millions of hive mind parasites that take over their... take over their organisms and, you know, become stronger as a result? Or one shooty girl? I don't know, because we've been putting band-aids over everything they've been doing, every single bad thing they've been doing. They just rip them off with and no remorse. All that did was make them mad and target us. Well, they're just gonna have to get over it. Oh, great! Yeah, the creature. The nightmare! Oh, that's what it's called. That's you have a spectral biomechanical organism called Nightmare in here? Well, we and just... you brought the deadly parasite that's never been seen before into the same place with it? We decided to take Fantoon and try to repurpose it. You know, repurpose a ghost. I like the Nightmare Boss. Then again, we did fight Nightmare and other ramp. What? Yep. No! <laughs> yes. Really? Yep. Really? Yeah, really. Oh, that's why it's here. That's why it's here. Oh god, that's why it's here. That's why it's here because we killed it on that on that ship and Federation came, took it away and gave it to the BSL to run experiments on it. I think that shadowy thing fucked everything up. Everything's broken. Yep, it's all broken. It's all broken. It's all gone to hell and back. So, uh here's here's something intriguing at least in my mind. Wait, what are you doing? 
Okay. This is cool. Check. Oh, shine. check spark. Yeah, shine spark. Watch this. Watch shine spark. Watch this. Watch Do it. Do it. Do it. Okay. Gotta get these things. Get them out of the way. All right. Cool. Cool. All right. Right. And run. One more. Once more with feeling. Sorry. What? And. You forgot to open the door. You forgot to open the door. Oh, fuck. You fool. I was trying to shoot first and then go through it, but I ended up. Shoot first, ask questions later. Look at this, though. Ah! So we get that, and... Oh! Powerball okay. back here! I was wondering why you did that. Ho ho! Yeah, just to show off. You know, I'm all about the swag. Mm -hmm. All about that swag. See, I'm so swag, I use a word from 2013. Oh, what's up? Swag. Swag. Heard... Swag. Swag. I haven't heard that word in a long time. I recently used it in my playthrough of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, so it's okay. It's coming back. Okay, and your subscribers just... Just straight down the toilet. Oh, hey, old swag. What is it? 49? <laughs> So, oh, uh, they broke through a level four bear here. Hey, I love it. That's not good. That's a good way I to mean, get it through. It means that everything that's been here, they don't want us to see. Well, it's time to see it. Like what's up here. Yeah. I mean, this nightmare is apparently just... Oh, it's a shortcut. This is how they get from sector to sector. Oh. But you know, while we're here, might as well grab this power bomb. I like it. Do you think if you sequence broke this game that the place would be destroyed? No. Because certain transitions are causing these events to happen. Have you noticed that? I think it's by defeating certain bosses. Uh, okay. Because that, you know, furthers the story and furthers the X's destruction path. There aren't any skippable bosses, are there? There, pro there, there? there probably are, I don't know. There's not a whole lot you can sequence break in here. That, you know, this is uh, one of the more linear uh, Metroid games, <laughs> certainly. Yeah. But it, it opens up a bit, a bit more towards the end, and that's why people are then at, like, you know, the, the low percent run and all that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you still have to collect the powers from the monsters. Yeah. That's, that's not going away. And also, those power-ups don't count towards your percentage in this game, I think. Not to mention the navigation rooms lock you in. Oh, that's true. Uh, yeah, well, that's been destroyed, too. Okay, well. Look at the state of this place. It's a fixer-upper, but I think we can handle it. Say, oh, just give Samus her tool belt. Oh, I wonder what we're getting next. Oh, no, I hate water sections in that boy. Oh, I hate it. The, like, having your speed, I f you'd feel so helpless in Metroid games. It, oh. Oh, they can they grew fins, man. I love it. Water space pirates, what the fuck? Oh, that's awesome. No. Water no, pirates. no. Nipping that in the bud. You missed one though. You missed one. He's right there. Nice. You, sh you should go back and kill him. He's an abomination. Don't let him live. Well, he can't asexual reproduce. Oh, damn it, you're right. Destroy him. I, I have realized that this game is just telling you destroy everything because the X will take it over and reproduce it. Do well, every time we kill one, two more grow in its place. Every time we absorb one, it's it, 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 it's grow another one. There's the no way we can stop it. We have the to kill X them here. are just like the Hydra of Metroid enemies. Every time you kill one, more take its place. You've got to deatomize these guys. <laughs> and the only way to do that, nuke them. There. Power bomb. I guess it does make sense that the easiest way to eradicate something is to nuke it. I mean, that's why we blew up Raccoon City a few dozen times. Yeah, but we use it too often. We probably shouldn't keep doing that. What? Worldwide destruction? Is every, every time there's a problem, we nuke it. <laughs> it's like, oh, that city's yeah, fucked. You, nuke you it! A very good point, yes. Oh, what do you mean 1X got in? Alright, nuke it. Achoo! <laughs> All right, new kid. No, wait. Boom. You know what? I was just thinking that exact same thing. It's like, oh, hey, one person sick. Eh, nuke it. <laughs> Nip that in the bud. I swear South Park just did that with a COVID episode. <laughs> it's post-COVID and everybody is like older because it took so damn long to it's, get rid of it. It's a time skip. And then one person got sick. I think it was... I think it was Kenny who died from it. Of course. And then they were like, he died from COVID, and then everybody starts panicking because it's happening again. That's that biting satire South Park's been known for. I will say the one, like, kick-in-the-balls joke is, uh... There's always one. 
there's always one, and this one was actually very noticeable. Because they're like, we have found- The army comes and says, nobody's getting out of South Park. And then they said, we found out that one person has not been vaccinated. So, of course, they asked, well, who is it? And they said, well, thanks to, uh, thanks to a policy we instated years ago, we're not allowed to point people out and make fun of them. <laughs> and here he is. Well, here's Nightmare. Dun, 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 dun. This guy is a pain. If you're gonna die to anybody, it's gonna be this guy a lot, I guarantee. So he's got these lasers that, uh -huh. that are a pain, and the only weak spot is this part down here. Gotcha. This is glowing, ah. this glowing bit. Now, and then he turns that on, and now the gravity is super high, and he still fires at you, and your missiles don't work. So you gotta wait until he dips down, oh, but that. you're also taking damage as oh, well. Oh, that's awesome! Yeah, yeah, and his face oh, is starting to melt. that is so cool. Why did they take this thing in? Because they want to use it for military applications. Ah! So now his face is, is open, so I just shoot him in the face, but he's only really weak on that kind of first opening there. <laughs> oh, oh he, he doubles back around. Oh, he oh hurts this him. sucks. Uh, he's an asshole! Use, ah! that, use that follow algorithm there. Ah, get, uh, and he locks on to you. Don't sometimes panic, hard don't to panic. protect. I'm trying not to panic. We got it, though. It's okay. Ah! He's still got a lot of face left, and we don't have a lot of health. Oh, <laughs> stop falling me, goddammit! No! Ah! Then he gets into a position where I can't shoot him a whole lot, and he's like, ah, oh, okay. come on! You kinda have to- you kinda have to lead him into I'm the place trying. where you- I'm ah! trying! Damn, oh, this right is there. not going right well! Yes, great! Go! Uh, fire go. 10 million go missiles! On. Go on! Just keep firing the missiles! Go, go, go! Blast it all the away! G the GPA yeah. is actually lagging! Ah! In, uh, your Wii U is lagging! <laughs> it's not my Wii U! <laughs> it's my Wii U, but who cares? You're using it right now! Kill the thing! Wii U version has had some, uh, slowdown I have not seen in any other version. Which is hilarious because it it's it's on a separate console and that is so tragic. Oh, oh that is so. You are just about dead. Oh, that's this is all. I, I've got like one last shot. If I don't, yep. If I don't get him on this, oh, I'm use not your ball! No. The X one. The X one. The universe and is doomed. Now we have a long way to go because it's been a hot minute. About 12 hot minutes since you have saved. Oh wait, never mind. No, you saved in that room, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's not that far. Time for round two. Time for round two. Dun, the dun, dun, the dun, 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 Got you there! Worst nightmare! I'm not allowed to tank attacks. Yeah. You gotta use that morph ball to dodge! I don't wanna use a morph ball. But sometimes I'd you can. rather shoot a bunch of missiles. Oh. And it doesn't even help me okay. anyway because he's such an asshole! Yeah, it's not working. Oh, that's essentially how you get underneath him and dodge here, but that takes so many button presses. I just gotta tank it. Jump up and hit do, the do missiles. Do you have to, though? Yes. Gravity's kind of helping you in this regard. I'm jumping and just inching the missiles up there. Yeah, just a little bit. Just gotta blow that up. And I gotta work a little better, work a little smarter with the follow algorithm, as you said. So is this thing, like, just, just a monstrosity that uh -huh. somebody made, or...? Uh... Oh, there we go. Yeah. It, it took a while. <laughs> the missile just shot right up when the gravity opened it. All right, that's good. That's good. I like that. Nice, good hit. Uh, more, more of that. L less of the getting hit, though. And loop him around. Okay. And loop. Oh uh, well. Well, I mean, we, we need to, we need to get you better at that space jump, buddy. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> that, that, that's one way to do that. Sounded like you failed me. It's like it's fine. I did. It's I did jump. fail. Ow. And I'm, okay, I'm okay in this one. I like the one in Dread a lot better, because that's like, I can fly in that. Oh, yeah, see, here we go. Uh, aim, 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 right, aim, right. I got nervous! <laughs> yes! I'm glad I'm not the only one that nervous fires. Good job in beating Nightmare. I haven't beat him yet! The, yeah, beat the core. That's, that's the easy part. Is it, though? It's more predictable. Well, okay, good. He doesn't take up as much of the screen. There's actually some health pickups. <laughs> that is a very good point you bring up. 
Yeah, see, you just gotta, you gotta string them along. Just gotta ride them around. Haha. Yeah. One more hit, I'll do it. And yeah. good night. Yeah. Good. Enjoy your plasma suit. Or, uh, uh, That's yeah, the gravity, gravity suit. suit. And now we've got that familiar shade of purple. Except now it's like mixed with barf. Actually, no, that is a good color scheme. Yes, I like this one. I'm okay with this. It's got some green in there as well. Oh. Oh, and I like how the shadow changes the green to light blue. It's either that or it is just light blue. So we can walk freely in water now. Here's your, uh, here's your test. Back here. And... Ah, you're doing the running thing. Was I supposed to do something else? Oh, I don't know. I, did, I didn't know there were speed booster blocks underneath there. It's like you're playing Mario uh, for NES. Wait a minute, I'm supposed and, to jump? And it's like, ah, you're taking the flagpole. Ah, okay. You're like, supposed to what? Supposed to what? Well, didn't you know they found out that you can beat the game in one level now? Uh, I've got technologies where you can just beat the game in one button press, which is actually like several million button presses. Oh god, I love that. It's just... The, uh, the tasses for certain games that are like... Point one of a second. Yeah, I may have mentioned the, the credits warps. I may have mentioned the Mario Brothers three task that is literally just one frame because they overloaded with so many button presses that it tricked the game into thinking it was over. <laughs> well, they beat the record. What? And now it's even faster because they use even more button presses in a different technique. Can't use power bomb there. Oh. Wait, how do you get up there? Don't use a bomb because that triggers that no, little. No, no, no. Uh, I mean, how do you get to the second half? Uh, there's a thing up here. Oh, okay. Well, good job. Please go down. <laughs> I saw the pleading in your voice. Please, please go down. Please. Please. Maybe. Please go down. <laughs> I want it. <laughs> I would like to I want it. the present. I want the E-Tank. Hey, nice. there we hey, go. Hey, all right. Good, uh, good job on the E-Tank. Don't pick I'm, I'm a Who's big, a good Metroid player? I'm, I'm a big boy. I play Who's big boy. The e I play big boy games. I play 4X games. <laughs> Do you know who I am? I played the Mega Man X series. Sorry, uh, what was it? Uh, Zero? Mega Man Zero games. There we go. Have you even played a FIFA game before? <laughs> I could be a normie. Just what like do you do? FIFA fans like FIFA. I, I played FIFA 2000 on, on the computer. Have you seen the rage compilations for FIFA? Oh my god. Yeah, people are... People snapping controllers and snapping discs. Because they spend like $300 on these loot packs and they don't get the players they want. Well, not only that, but it's like normal plays of the game. Like, I've seen people rage over a call from a virtual ref. It's like, my dudes, it's soccer. No need to rage. <laughs> then again, I almost broke a controller playing Tekken 3, so I can relate. But this was back when I was like seven. Yeah, when you were seven, when you were a child who didn't know how to control his anger at a, at a, at a challenging video game. Yeah, and then I actually broke a controller uh, playing Dead or Alive 2. How old were you? Fifteen. Alright. Just actually broke an Xbox controller. An How do you break those? An original Xbox controller. You killed the Duke? I... Oh, it was... It was bad, man. Because controllers were expensive and... You killed the Duke! I can't believe you killed the Duke! Mm -hmm. How do you kill the Duke? Very carefully, actually. It was just a swift... God damn it! Bang! And then the control stick stopped working. <laughs> Oh. As in, they freely moved in their slot. <laughs> I was like, oh. shut an Arch Duke. He started World War One with that. <laughs> <laughs> so sad. Speaking of original Xbox, did I ever tell you that I lost mine? How do you lose it? They're so big. I, I don't know. But my original Xbox, when I moved, I could never uh, find it again. Lost in the move. I see. The thing is, I'm very careful with, like, my consoles and everything. Yeah, no, I've, I've moved with uh, consoles and games, too. It's it's important. Yeah. I get that. But somehow, I just can't find my original Xbox, so, of course, I bought another. For the sake of gaming preservation. Now we can play Jet Set Radio Future. 
Hell yeah. Or what other Xbox do I have that I can actually play on uh, 360 and or Xbox? Ooh, let's go play through Blinks! I've got Doom 3, baby! Oh yeah! I've got the guy thing! I actually still own that. You should get rid of that. Are you kidding? It's rare now. <laughs> you should sell it immediately. <laughs> Did you know I actually got that game at the at the GameStop that we frequent? Way back in the day. Was it even still around at that time? Yeah. I think so. Let's see, ten years ago? Yeah. Oh my god. Ten years of LP. Well, pretty close. We're getting there. Oh, well, almost. Next year it'll be 10 for me. In fact, it'll be 10 for all of us. Kids. Milestones. We're playing games and getting milestones. It's been a hell of a decade. <laughs> That's for sure. God, I, I actually, I actually recall, I should probably save this for the 10 year announcement, but uh, I do remember quitting my job and be like, you know what? I kind of want to LP things. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like fun. Of course, it was a shithole job, so I don't regret it in the slightest. But it was just one of those things where I was like, you know what? Let's let's make some videos. Ooh. So, so we found ourselves in the level four security room, and let's just unlock the hatches. Samus, you should not have done that. Please do not do that. Yeah, I don't know if we should have done that or not. I mean, well, we, we had to. We can't leave otherwise. Do so not open the red door, we Samus. We just opened up Whoa. the entire... Place. Samus, do not open the red doors. Oh, we 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 did a bad. Do not open the red doors. Samus. That's what I call a transformation puzzle. Gotta let those transform into the gold oh. things. To, to do what? So, just, oh, get the, shoot a missile in there. Okay. Uh huh. Then we kill him. Okay. Steal, that's, that unlocks the door. What? You have to kill those gold enemies, and that locks the door. Oh. Okay. And another E-Tank! Well, now that we've unlocked the red door, is the AI, like, panicking right now? Well, I think the people who are panicking the most are probably Galactic Federation. Ah, uh, yeah. that means we're about to see their dirty little secrets. And doesn't this also technically mean that the Federation has been collecting the corpses of our old enemies to repurpose them as weapons. For, for the for use of good. You see, if the pirates do it, it's bad, but if we do it, it's good. Uh-huh, yeah, I figured that's the theme we were going for here. So this is the kind of order taking I expect Samus to do. Like, she does it for a while, just to, you know, to, for cooperation's sake, but then when it comes to it, it's like, all right, fuck this. I'm getting I'm getting the beams when I'm not supposed to. I'm opening up the security doors. I'm doing what I can to make sure that, I, that this happens, because this is, this is FUBAR, man. This is fucking FUBAR. <laughs> Actually, uh, when the AI said, uh, that was unexpected. Yes, it was. That means she went... She kind of went outside the the orders. Yep, she it's it's basically oh you sequence broke. Hmm. Because it, it we didn't go in the sequence that they wanted us to. This is like a gin from Golden Sun. I never played Golden Sun. Oh, you're missing out. I don't even own any of them, which oh, is you surprising. Are, you are missing out. Trust that's, me. That's what I hear. Good RPG series. Great RPG series. In fact, I, I wouldn't mind playing it again someday. I miss those games. Well, I don't, because I don't know what they are. All right, well, uh, that'll do it for Metroid Fusion for right now, but I want to show you something. It's, it's, those of you who know the game, this is, this is the time. Let's do some sequence breaking and, oh. get that, and, and get that secret message. Hmm. So, so what the game wants you to do now, yeah. Is head up to one of the only working data rooms and get the diffusion missile. Oh, just like some special like it's an upgrade to your missile that makes it uh, you, you, like you can charge your missiles now, essentially. Oh, that's awesome! Yes, it's gonna be cool. We'll get that next time though. But if you do shine sparking just right, and you make your way up here and hold your shine spark and go through a high speed door. Oh, and make your way back to a navigation room. You get a special message. The thing, the oh. thing is, though, this is immensely difficult to do. So I figure, hey, 
Seeing as how I'm on Wii U, I've got the power of save states. Maybe I can go ahead and give it the old, the old try. See what we can do. Oh. See, how, see how bad it can be. So you gotta hold that. And just, just hold that. You gotta keep going against these slopes and basically hold on to it. I've gotta keep making restore points so I can save my progress. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, it, it, oh, I've already lost it. Great. Wait a minute, is, is that the corner? So, I, I, I did alright for a while. And I got pretty far, but then... You created a bad save state. I... Oh. I, thought I, could, I thought I could duck there, but I lost it. This was... 20... Minutes! 20 minutes I spent, and it's all gone, so I gave up, and now I'm just gonna hear somebody else. I just... Yeah, okay. Yeah. This, <laughs> die, die, I'm die. still gonna show it off. Uh, this is from a guy named Megarian. He's got some... Uh, he's, he's got to show yeah, it off. Here, see, see here's it. how you do it. This is ridiculous. So hit hit the corner. So you, okay. hit, so you hit the corner. Come down here. Basically, hit, hit the corner. You got you got to use these slopes in order to to maintain your your momentum. And it's, it's really oh, that's a corner. It's, it's ridiculous. And that's a corner. Huh. And then you got to basically shine. You know, j jump up there. It's, it's really difficult. For oh, me to that's do. a corner too. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. I, mean, I was should have gone the other way. That's, that's what I was trying to do. Oh. And here's what I had left to do. I had to go over here, drop a power bomb, still keep the momentum going, have that go Holy off. Shit! Then I had to keep going on up here. Here's another slope, and I go through this. Oh my god! And then you use it to get through there. Are you kidding? There's an alternate way to basically use a well t well placed missile to get past the area that you need. But basically, if you get to a to wow. a navigation room without getting the diffusion missile, you get the following secret message. Whoa! Samus, I'm impressed that you were able to make it back. That trick with the shine spark was very. Ingenious. Oh, cool. That's our Samus Aran. Magnificent. Truly, Truly magnificent. magnificent. As a reward, let's fill her in on our plan. Hmm, computer? It's <laughs> not advisable. Bah. Nah. No more joking. Samus, get back on task. Oh, wow. I wonder how many players will see this message. So next, That's cool. Next time on Metroid Fusion, we're going to find out what their nefarious plan is, I bet you. Oh, is it nefarious? See you next time.